evening viewers and welcome back to another edition of the social development outlook for today tuesday 20th june 2023 i am your host derica library just to remind you that this program was hosted and produced by the communications unit within the ministry of social development and other related departments at this point in time we'll take our first break and be right back And we are back. The month of May was used to issue out the Boys of Excellence Award to the most outstanding young male students in the primary and secondary schools here on the island of Nevis. Join me as we view some clips from these brief but significant award giving ceremonies. Nikosane Hanley is a student of the Charlestown Secondary School and is in Form 2. He is 14 years old and resides in Colcohoun, St. Thomas's Parish. He previously attended the Ivor Walters Primary School, where he excelled in all areas. Nikosane's teachers describe him as respectful, intelligent, and well-mannered. He participates in a variety of extracurricular activities. He's a member of the Swim to Win swim team and the Bath Dojo Karate Club, where his rank is the Purple Belt. Nikosane plays steel pan with the Gifted Youths Steel Pan Group. He is a basketball enthusiast and is also a member of the Fountain New Testament Youth Group. Nikosane is a well-rounded young man with a promising future. Let us show some love to our very own Nikosane Hanley this morning, our boy of excellence. Nikosane, I just want to say congratulations to you. Uh, and good morning to everyone. I'm happy to be here. I'm so happy to be presenting this plaque, this photo, as frame photo to Kosane to celebrate the International Day of the Boy Child. Uh, this is an important endeavor where we seek to recognize our males, our young males. Of course, we also seek to recognize our young females. All of you are important. But today is the day for the International Day of the Boy. And Kosane Hanley has been selected as the boy to represent all boys here on the island and here at CSS for this year. Kosane is a member of the school, obviously, but he also went to the Ivor Walters Primary School. I'm quite proud of that, because I went to Ivor Walters and I attended this school. So Kosane, we have something in common. So thank you very much, congratulations, and congratulations to all of you, and of course, to the Ministry of Gender Affairs, which continues to do an excellent job. Thank you for having me, and congratulations to you, Mr. Hanna. Good morning. Good morning. All right, that's excellent. Okay, so as the principal said, I am Miss Hendricks from, Gen from Gender Affairs Department, and I'm with my coworker here, Miss Kalia Warner, and we are doing a very special presentation today to a very special boy. So, what's happening this week? So, on the 16th of May, which is which was on Tuesday, we celebrate the International Day of the Boy Child. Now that just doesn't happen here on Nevis and in St. Kitts, it also happens all around the world. So you have institutions that are checking out boys who are exceptional characters. This is, you listen over there? Boys who display very good personalities that helps to uplift themselves, uplift others, that helps to show their place in school, how they're doing very well at home, in the church, and in any other community spaces. So today, at your school, your teachers would have identified a very special boy who have 
who has these exceptional qualities. Do you know who that person is? Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Can I see a picture of him? Is there, you have a, what, let me see. Who's that? Zaire, right. So there's something really cool about Zaire that have, has your teacher thinking, you know what? He deserves to be awarded with a picture and an award. So let us welcome Zaire to the front. Please give him a rose in time. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our boy of excellence, Mr. Zaire Jeffers. Zaire displays many outstanding values that have contributed to him being selected for such a prestigious award. He is respectful, diligent, courteous, and displays a willingness to succeed at whatever task he is presented with. Zaire is a well-rounded student who is able to balance his academics and extracurricular activities while approaching challenges head-on and always being able to persevere. Recently at our 2023 sports meet, his athletic prowess was demonstrated in the numerous races that he won, giving him an opportunity to capture the title of Victor Ladorum. His ability to maintain a 90% average throughout the years is evidence that he is motivated and has the potential to succeed. His parents, Ms. Zwani Morton and Mr. Wayne Jeffers have played a significant role in Zaire's success throughout the years by always giving the on wavering support, encouragement, and love. He continues to be a positive role model to his little sister Zanera, and always encourages her to give up her best. I present to you our star, our boy of excellence, Zaire Jeffries. Now I will invite one of the teachers who will read the profile of the boy of excellence. So you could know who that student is. It says profile, and we're looking at the profile of Nehom Polias. He's responsible, kind, team player, and hardworking are words that best describes Nehom Polias a grade five student of the St. Thomas's primary school. He is involved in the life of the school and has represented the school in elocution, athletics, football, and cricket. Nehom is involved in his community. He is a member of the Sunday school and youth group of his church. He is a member of the Swim Right Swimming Club, Nothing Boys Club, and the Grassroots Football Club. He is eager to learn and performs at a high level, thinks of others first, and perseveres through difficulty. Let's welcome Nehan Polias. Pleasant good morning to everyone. Good morning. As Mr. Phillips said, I am a former student of this school. I went to the school many years ago. I also had the privilege of putting music to the, to the school song. So every time you sing the school song, that is, that is my music that you're singing. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm glad to have made that small contribution back to this school. I also have a daughter here, Dijane. I mean, Shani. Shani is in grade one. And this morning, I'm very glad to, to be here present this gift to this token, this very small token, to Nehem Polias. I know Nehem very well because both of us go to the same church and 
one of the things that was not mentioned in the profile is that he's very good at dancing. Oh. He's, he's part of a dance group called the Hebrew Boys, the Free Hebrew Boys. And he does a very good job in that, in that group. So I'm going to read to you the trophy. It says, World Day of the Boy Child, Boys to, Boys to Embrace, Empower, Elevate. The Department of Gender Affairs 2023 Boy Excellence Awards, St. Thomas's Primary School. So I want to put your hands together again for... It's someplace prominent so everybody who comes to St. Thomas's Primary School would know. to Sasha Liber and Darren Norville on the 22nd of May 2010. This grade 6 Eagle student of the Joyce Library Primary School is recognized by his teachers as a very helpful and energetic student. He often represents the school in performing the cultural art form of cakewalk. Over the years, he has also proficiently represented the school in various athletic events, including football, cricket, track, and field. His love for athletics has become more evident as he's now training for the St. Kitts Nevis under 14 football team. One day, Nyanjay hopes of becoming a professional football player while owning his own construction company. As an active member of the Gingerland Methodist Boys Brigade, Nyanja plays the drum in the Brigade Orchestra. He is repeatedly reminded of his love, of the love that God has had for him, as he reflects on his favorite scriptural text, which is John 3:16. This love has helped him to relate to and admire his mother for the push of success that she inspires daily. The Joyce Library Primary School takes pride in saluting Nyanja Library as this year's Boy of Excellence. Thank you very much, Mr. Philip, and a pleasant good morning to you, Joyce Library Primary. Let me recognize your teachers and all members of staff and of course the good folks from the Department of Gender Affairs. I'm so happy this morning to be here at JLPS to be a part of this award ceremony. I'm just happy to be here at JLPS. I was actually smiling for a bit because early I realized that we didn't have any video camera. So I was going to speak candidly to you here at JLPS this morning. but. The video camera come in and you know they're gonna tape me so I can't say everything that I wanted to say. But I'm still going to say that the Joyce and Liber Primary School is my favorite primary school. Okay? And so, I'm, I'm a little bit biased in that way because Joyce and Liber Primary is my school that I went to. Okay? And so whenever I get the opportunity to come here. I always feel good because I always remember, I mean, it was a long time ago, but I always remember the good times that I had here, standing up here looking at you students, seeing you with your testament and so on. We used to have our testaments and we had to learn our 
scriptures. And I'm very happy this morning that the young man said his favorite scripture is John, John 3.16, right? That's good. You know, the Bible is something that we should all be grounded in. And we got a good education in the Bible right here at Joyce and Bible Primary when I was in school. I wouldn't tell you all that used to happen when we did not know our scripture. <laughs> I would tell you that you all have it a lot better than we had it then. Because, you know, we might get pulled out of the line if we didn't know the scripture. Or if we were, re if we were supposed to be reading the scripture and somebody passed through and they realized that you're not reading, they would pull you out to the front. And then you had to read the scripture or they would tell you to learn that scripture and come back tomorrow morning and recite the scripture. But those were some really good times. Looking, at back, looking back at it now, I know a lot of scriptures by heart because I learned them right here at Joyce and Bible Primary. I want to commend all of you because I know Joyce and Bible Primary has a lot of excellent students. Let me see your hands if you believe that you are excellent. I hope I'm seeing all of the hands. That's good. And Joycelyn Library Primary has produced some of the best and the brightest young men and women in Nevis who have gone on to do a lot of good things all over Nevis and all over the world. And so I want to encourage all of you, all of you here at Joycelyn Library Primary, to continue to aspire for the highest because you can be anything that you want to be. And young man, I want to commend you for the good work. You have been recognized by your school and you're going to be recognized by all of Nevis because you know the cameras are here and they're putting you up. So you're going to be very, very famous. Okay? I want to I want to encourage you to continue to walk in the right path. When you see choices in front of you, to make the good choice. Do what you know is a good thing. And you're having a good education. I, I saw your mom earlier. I know your mom is a good lady and she's teaching you the right things. I want to encourage you to learn those things. The fact that you're here getting the award means that you have been going, doing good things. I want to encourage you to continue on that path and to be an example for the other students in this school. And when you graduate from here and you go on to high school, that you continue to be an example. So congratulations, and we look forward to seeing good things from you. Thank you very much, Justin Lyber Primary. All right, so the Good morning, GSS. The male student of excellence is Jordan Zandra Lester Lyber. and progressed nicely in the A to stream up to Form 3. It was Jordan's dream to always be an A1 student and through hard work and determination, he was promoted to Form 4A1 in September 2022. Jordan is a very quiet and unassuming young man who knows exactly what he desires and goes after it with purpose. He's always willing to give a helping hand wherever it is needed. He loves nature, everything science, basketball, and video games. Notwithstanding his involvement in other activities, Jordan was an avid participant in the Manning's Bueller Progressive Pathfinders Church Club for over 10 years and has just recently completed and graduated the final class in April of 2023. Jordan is passionate about church and is currently a deacon in training at the Manning Seventh-day Adventist Church. Can we please welcome Jordan Zander Lester. back memories of me attending this school. 
I want to say good morning to all of the teachers, all of the students, our staff from Gender Affairs, and of course the, man, the young man of the hour, Mr. Jordan Lybird. It is indeed a pleasure for me to be here this morning to make this presentation to Jordan. And of course, as you would have heard in the profile, Jordan is an astute young man. And I remember when I was here the last time to present the award to the boy child. Last time, and this time, both times, the boy that is recognized is a boy that is very active in church. Very active in church. And so, and so I'm encouraging the young boys who are going to the ginger and secondary school, those of you who do not go to church, you need to start going to church. Because when you go to church, you get a grounding. You get a grounding in church, you get a grounding at home, you get a grounding at school. And I want to congratulate the young man Jordan for the grounding in morals and values that he would have had at home, here at school, and in church. And I'm always happy when we recognize our young men. Because most of the times when we hear things about our young boys, most of the time this is something bad and when there is something good about our boys when there is something good about our young man we must say it and say it loud and we must recognize and honor them and so i am delighted as the air representative and of course ginger and secondary being my alma mater to be here to present this award to jordan jordan congratulations on your excellent work at home, in church, here at school. Now you've been recognized today. And I want to encourage all of the other boys of the ginger and secondary school. And girls, you need to encourage them. Because what I heard this morning doesn't sound like you're encouraging the boys. You have to encourage each other. Girls, you have to encourage the boys. And boys, you have to encourage the girls. We want Ginger and Secondary School to continue to shine. Remember your motto, through difficulties to the stars. So once again, Jordan, congratulations, and I'm very proud of you. Ginger and Secondary is proud of you. Continue the excellent work, and actually you look, you almost look like a pastor already. Congratulations. devastated with the news of the death of an elderly gentleman he had gotten to know, love, and cared for. He met an elderly couple when he went with his mother to visit a home, and Zuri found it necessary to return on various occasions to help with chores and shopping. Yeah. Zuri once met an elderly woman in a store buying a mirror. He realized from her conversation that she was short of cash and convinced his mom to purchase the mirror for her. By the way, Zubi said he wanted to buy me a car and I'm waiting. <laughs> he has been very instrumental in securing funds whenever the school was involved in its annual community impact program. We do have an impact to your community program here where we do a lot of things for the community. We just collected food items for Alexandra, um, a barrel to send to Cuba. Zuri is selfless. Zuri likes sports and delights in track and field, and also playing football, yes, Travis is helping me, basketball and cricket, he also does karate. This young man also has a passion for the church and the work of God, apart from being a pathfinder and playing drums, he has preached on a few occasions, both indoor and outdoor services, and has been called upon to offer prayer both at school 
and in the church. So we is our go-to person, especially when we go out and visit the sick. We did put down a prayer for Mr. Busu, Charles Busu. At school, Zoe gets involved in everything, making him a well-rounded individual. He is thus the best choice for our boy of excellence, and he will be on our STEM team, which will compete on Friday of next week. Wow. So let us welcome Zoe Wade to the front. Good morning again, Nivis Academy. Good morning. Good morning again, teachers. Morning. It is for me a great privilege to join you here this morning to take part in this very brief ceremony. Today, as we celebrate International Day of the Boy Child, I am indeed particularly pleased to have listened to the profile of Zoe. And it warmed my heart. You know why it warmed my heart? Because while he is academically Inclined, he is also spiritually inclined, and that for me is important. Yeah. Because all of the academical accomplishments without your spirituality and your connection to God, it means nothing. So I just wanted to say congratulations to you. I am so happy and so proud of you. I want to ask you to continue to do all that you are doing, because I believe you will continue to be a remarkable, remarkable difference in our community. So congratulations. I also want to say congratulations to the parents because I am certain that the parents would have been... Yes, where's the mommy? <laughs> Come on, mommy. Where's the mother? Oh, okay. Yes. I am certain that the parents would have given that wonderful example for Zoe to follow. So congratulations to the parents as well because I believe without your example, Zoe would not have being the kind of trial that it is. So Zoe, congratulations. And I wish you all the very best, every success, and God's greatest blessing to you. Congratulations. So we are presenting this portrait of Zuri, which says Zuri Wade, Boy of Excellence 2022. To 2023, sorry, to the school. At this point in time, we'll take our final break, and when we return, we'll go straight into our featured presentation for this evening. Welcome to Nevis. It's easy to believe that all Caribbean islands are the same until you visit Nevis. Nevis is the Caribbean of a bygone era. You will enjoy a most intimate vacation on Nevis. You're only a stranger here once. We offer exclusive and barefoot luxury stays. With only 400 hotel rooms, our island may be exclusive. But a warm, genuine and friendly welcome is just everywhere. We look forward to meeting you. Visit nevisisland.com And we are back. Members from the Department of Community Development kept their focus this year for their community focus on Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School and the Buses Association. Let us now take a look at some excerpts from these events. Good morning. I'm Malvo Rollins, Community Development Officer for St. John's Parish, and I'm here this morning with Mrs. Liebert, who is the principal of the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School, and we are going to do an interview about the school and the history of the school. Good morning, Mrs. Liebert. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we just want to say thanks for having our school, Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School, the focus for this month for your community development. As part of Community Development Month and Community Focus, your school, the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School, has been chosen as our community focus for this month. And so we just want to say a hearty thank you for allowing us. Can you please share some information about the school and the person that the school that was named after? Okay, the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School, as its name says, it was named after a past lit student, Miss Pemberton. She was a teacher at the old school, the St. John School, that was the original school over in, in Brown Pasture. And so she was a stalwart 
teacher. She wasn't a principal, but she was a, a teacher for many years at that school. And so it was fitting to name the school in her honor. Um, before this school came here, it was at another location. Can you tell me where it was? Uh, if it, this is the original location of the Elizabeth Pemberton Prime. No, as as I said um, previously, it was at the where the Davis International Secondary School is. That's the the building where it was. It was the St. John's Primary School. It was at that time. And when was this school erected? Okay, so this school was erected in 2006, uh, seven. We moved over in 2007 and it was uh, renamed in 2008. And so this year we celebrated our 15th anniversary in, in the month of January. So in 2007, we came over the September and then the following year, 2008, was when it was renamed the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School on the Flats Coal Hill. What is the role of the school? How many staff and workers do you have here? Okay, currently we are at 75, 75 students and we have a, a staff of 26 including the auxiliary staff. How has the school progressed academically over the years? Okay, we, we have um, been making our mark over here. Um, for several years, we have won competitions such as the SJCIC quiz, we have entered tourism quiz, we have uh, um, done spelling bee. We have a lot of activities we, we were involved with. Um, also, we are big on sports. Also, uh, we have won the, the BZOM back then for consecutive years, consecutive years. And so we have been doing well over the years. I have heard that you, your school have made many achievements in sports over the years. Can you tell us a bit about that? As I, as I, as I mean. All right, good morning. My name is Mr. Misha Sadler. I am the deputy principal here at Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School. In terms of our achievements in sports, over the years we have done excellent especially at the inter-primary meets held yearly. We have placed in cricket, football, all of the sports that this, this school has been involved in. We make a name for ourselves. The school has produced many great sons and daughters. Can you please name a few of these persons who are, who are making their mark on Nevis and around the world? Uh, those that I know of, I know the Pemberton's Earlene and Ernesia, those are two doctors that are here. They, they, I think they work at the hospital at the moment. We have had persons, I think like Mr. Ian Byron, he's a sports enthusiast. Um, ooh, so many two things that I can't, I can't recall all. <laughs> But, but over the years, we have, we have produced many persons who continue to make a positive impact in our island and our community. Finally, as we wrap up, can you tell the parents viewing why they should allow their child or children to attend this school? Okay. EPPS is the School of Champions. We here, we have a trained staff and that, that, that um, caters to the needs of the child holistically. So you, when you send your child here, you'll get education, they'll be involved in sports, extracurricular activities, things of that nature that will help them to become a positive person in society.
I want to thank the principal and deputy principal of the EPPS for giving us the opportunity to have this interview with them. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Could you please tell us your name? Good morning. I am Clarissa Hanley, a grade two teacher at the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School. As someone who would have attended the old Bompasha School, could you tell us a little about your experience going to the Bompasha School and then transition to the EPPS Primary School? So I spent my kindergarten year at the St. John's Primary School. My time there was short, so I don't necessarily remember too much. I remember my classroom being upstairs. It was a small classroom. My, I think my classroom was the biggest class of 18 students at the time. So, you know, the space in the classroom was a bit small. I remember being playful, having a lot of fun. Um, we transitioned in the year 2008. I remember when the school marched from Brown Pasha right up to Cole Hill, and the school was then renamed the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School. So, tell us a little about your time here at the EPPS, how you perform at the school, and your education, and your transition to being a teacher here at this school? Well, as I said, my classroom was one of the biggest classroom. It was 18 and then it went up to 20. So there was a lot of bright little students in that classroom. Um, I always remained top six in my classroom up until grade six where I graduated 2013. And now, fast forward to 2021, I joined the teaching course and I became a teacher right back at my alma mater um, in 2021, where I am now teaching grade two students. My time at the school, well, from a student's point of view, it was a good experience here. Um, I'm still working with some of my past teachers. I think I'm working with four of them. So it's very refreshing to work with the teachers that who has taught me and they are here to teach me as I go along my teaching journey. And I'm very thankful and grateful to be back here at my old primary school. And that's our package for this evening. Do join us again next Tuesday for another edition of the Social Development Outlook. Good night. We are now on Facebook and YouTube. Like, share, subscribe.